Now to that NBC News exclusive tied to the prison escape and manhunt that captivated this nation back in June. Two convicted killers, Richard Matt and David Sweat, were on the run after breaking out of the Clinton Correctional Facility in upstate New York. So early in the investigation, a name surfaced. Joyce Mitchell, a woman who worked in the prison's tailor shop, told investigators that she helped those men gain important tools to aid in their escape. She reached a plea deal and she's set to be sentenced a little later in this month. We visited Mitchell at the Clinton County Jail and I started by asking her what life behind bars is like. It's nerve wracking because it's not some place that I would ever expect it to be. I did wrong. I deserve to be punished. But, you know, people need to know that I was only trying to save my family. Save her family, she contends, from two men, David Sweat and Richard Matt, whom she met while working in the prison tailor shop, a position she held for seven years. As part of the job, how close were you and how close did you become to the inmates? Is it fair to say that you also became a friend? It is fair to say that. Was there flirtation as part of that friendship? There was. Did you think that perhaps you were crossing some sort of a line? I was at first. But then I guess, I guess I got a little too comfortable. And did anybody ever stop you and say, you know, Joyce, back off a little bit, get back behind the desk, treat them like inmates, stop being such a nice person, stop being friends with them? Um, they never actually told me to stop, but they did say, you know, um, you're you're too friendly, you know, you're you're too nice. And when they would say that to you, would you stop? I would a little bit, but at the time that everything happened, I was going through a time where I, I didn't feel like my husband loved me anymore. And I guess it was just me. I was going through depression. And I guess they saw my weakness. And that's how it all started. So you were, you were looking some, for something. You were looking for attention. Yes, their attention made me feel good. Both Sweat and Matt were violent offenders, something they never let Mitchell forget. Richard Matt was in prison because he killed a man who was his boss. Yes. And then cut his body up. Yes, and he had no problem telling anybody about that. He actually had a photocopy of the article Tell, showing when he went to court and he would show it to anybody in some ways as some sort of street cred as to say this is what I did and I'm not yeah. I'm proud of it a new officer that come in he'd show him what what he was in for David sweats a guy who shot a sheriff's deputy 15 times so so these are two guys who committed heinous crimes yes and these are the guys you allowed yourself to have a friendship with. Yes. Everybody tells me I'm way too nice. When did they start asking you for favors? A few months before they decided to get out, they were asking me for things. So what did you bring them? I would bring um, cookies, brownies, you know, stuff like that. Pretending that you were bringing them in for, the, for yourself? Yes. How often did you do that, Joyce? I did it a lot. Were you ever nervous? Were you afraid you'd get caught doing it? I actually was because they're supposed to check our bags every morning when we come in and they're supposed to check them when you go out, but they, they never did. And then they started asking for other things. When Richard Matt comes to you and says, Joyce, I need a star-shaped drill bit, that's a lot different than cookies and brownies. Yeah. And what did you think? At first, I'm like, I can't get you that. But then he's like, I need it. For what? At first, they didn't tell me. And then after they did, it was because they were going to try to escape. Had you already given it to them at that stage? Yes. But I give them the stuff because they had threatened. It was Mr. Matt. Um, he looked at me one day and said, you know, Joyce, I do love you. And I said, I love my husband. And a little while after that, he wanted to get rid of Lyle. 
Get rid of Lyle, meaning kill Lyle, according to Joyce Mitchell. It's so fascinating to watch how slowly this person says she fell into a relationship and how it just escalated and escalated in terms of what they were asking her for. E exactly. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.